tracking Trump's agenda. President Trump will discuss his administration's agenda over lunch with GOP senators later today. Along with trade and the economy, the president's June 12th meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in Singapore will top the White House's to-do list as well. Meanwhile, the Hermit Kingdom has outlined steps to dismantle its nuclear testing site. Satellite images appear to show that shuttering the site has, in fact, begun. North Korea and South Korea agree to meet tomorrow to discuss a plan of action in that regard. Joining me right now is Fox News Senior Strategic Analyst General Jack Keane. General, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good to see you, Maria. So much to talk about. First, let's talk about these, these uh, satellite images showing us that North Korea has begun to dismantle the n nuclear testing site. Well, Your that's thoughts? a great sign, certainly, uh, that <clears throat> they said they were going to do it. They were going to invite people in here to take a look at it as well. So they're, they're making progress towards what we think is likely going to be a, a breakthrough here and, and that North Korea is giving every indication that they have actually changed their strategic policy towards denuclearization. And that is a positive thing. I was in Japan last week and I'll tell you the, the foreign ministry there is optimistic and they're a lot closer to this thing. Uh, themselves and, and they feel pretty good. They, their concern is if we get rid of the ballistic missiles, they want to get rid of all the ballistic missiles because medium range ballistic missiles can overfly Japan. That's to be incredible. Sure. So, how important has China been in this, General? I'm trying to understand the president's tweet earlier yesterday about ZTE, basically saying we want to help ZTE get back in business when we know ZTE was, was, was doing business with. Cuba, with Iran, with North Korea, and that's one of the reasons that the U.S. put sanctions on the company and, and, and you know, made it impossible for, the, for U.S. companies to do business with ZTE. It seems like he's changing this. Is this payback for what China has done in regards to North Korea? It may very well be. Certainly, I mean, I was stunned by that, so was to be I. frank about it. it. That's a major national security issue. We're absolutely moving in the right direction, uh, you know, by sanctioning ZTE. Uh, they were they were selling their wares uh, certainly to uh, to Iran and also to North Korea um, when we had sanctions imposed on them. They lie through their teeth about it. Uh, listen, uh, we're not making the progress that we are making with North Korea if if China was not very much involved. They are pivotal to this happening. If there's going to be denuclearization of the peninsula, as the North Korean leader is indicating, that is only with the permission of China. And I absolutely believe that China is actually pushing North Korea in that direction because China has huge regional and global ambitions and the problems that North Korea is presenting on the peninsula and in the region just get in the way of those those ambitions. You know, there's a good op-ed in the journal today saying Trump lets ZTE off the hook. But basically it goes on to say Huawei and ZTE, two Chinese companies, are competing with U.S. companies to develop the next generation of mobile communications, known as 5G. I mean, we know that China transfers technology to Chinese companies, and they're trying to beat us at our own game in some of the most important industries going forward, like AI, like 5G. Does the president walk a line here of blowing it in terms of giving up on our leverage with the Chinese over national security issues? Well, I'm not going to foreclose on a, on the whole thing yet because okay. this this can be just an opening round with the president, and it and, probably is. And, and and just having seen how he's worked these last 15 months, where he starts is usually not where he finishes. Yeah, and that and that's the reality of it. But I do say, you know, that decision certainly shocked everyone. Uh, because of its national security implications. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna watch this. We're gonna trust that the president has this game in place. That maybe this is just playing poker. Uh, because I agree, I was stunned as well. The national security issues are real. So we'll just watch that, General.